today in the pedal board, the Driftwood Amplifier's Heavy Hatchet Distortion. Little disclaimer here, this pedal was given to me by Driftwood Amplifiers for doing this exact video and maybe some more. However, after doing all the videos, I will send it back. The Heavy Hatchet Distortion is made by Driftwood Amplifiers and is basically their distortion pedal. But it also works as a preamp, for instance, in your FX return or directly into a power amp or a DAW with an IR loader. So what do we have? A ton of features, basically. Uh, apart from gain and volume and the three band EQ, which is kind of standard, I would say, we have an additional sharp and rumble controls. That's Driftwood's naming of presence and depth. We also have an integrated noise gate pedal or noise gate circuit. And we have a foot switch with boost. And we have three switches. Here we have high and low. I assume it's for the gain. We have vintage modern. And we have a switch that basically lets you select between the preamp and distortion mode. And we also have another input jack where we can bypass the pedal remotely if we wanted to. So with that being said, let's head over to the EQ curve. Everything is at noon, you can't really see here, except gate at zero, gain at zero and boost of course. So with gain at zero, we basically have no signal. Huge volume reserves. Let's leave it here actually. Three band EQ. Mids. 700 hertz, 800 hertz. Really effective. Okay, now sharp. Rumble. Nice 95 hertz or even 90. So first of all, let's go to the switches. I think when I flip this, the volume will actually decrease. No, it will simply be reshaped, kind of blood. Okay, we basically in distortion mode we increase the highs, uh, we increase the lows and we decrease the highs. Okay. Back to noon, preamp. Now, high low. Probably just for the gain, as I assumed. Let's leave it at high. And vintage modern. Mids are full. Nothing here. Okay, so let's activate the boost. Okay, so we don't see anything on the EQ curves, but that doesn't mean that the knobs don't work because they could be purely shape the distortion characteristics, which I can't show you with the EQ curve. So what do we have to do? Let's find out in the actual audio comparison.
First of all, let's start with the negatives. And um, let's be honest here, some of the negatives are really neglectable because, but I just want to mention them. So I don't like that the knobs are black on black. You really can't see where the mids are. And for instance, and well, I would have preferred some white dots here. Maybe that's something for a newer iteration of the pedal. And some controls are subtle and I did not expect them to be this subtle. For instance, the preamp distortion switch is really subtle and the vintage modern switch is rather subtle. Uh, that's not a con, it's maybe just a neutral thing, <laughs> whatever. And <laughs> that's about it with the negative stuff. Well, what, one neutral thing, um, it's a distortion pedal, especially built for clean amp or a power amp or even directly into the DAW. Um, so by nature, I tried it in front of an overdriven amp and it didn't <laughs> sound good, but that was kind of expected. So not made for an overdriven amp. In front of a clean amp and in front of a power amp, I think it sounds awesome. It really sounds modern. You get lots of different options with the high-low switch. You can adjust the gain exactly to your taste. The mids are very effective. The rumble and sharp are some nice additions to brighten up the tone, especially when you're going into a power amp. And the added boost, uh, if you do it cleverly, it will basically give you a whole new sound. You can basically dial in a rhythm tone and then with the boost, select a lead tone with more gain. And uh, the sound itself, I think it's awesome. I really think it's awesome. It's nothing that I have been reminded of. It For me, it sounds really unique and uh, does its own, own thing. I don't know how close it comes to the original Driftwood amps. I have to do some more comparisons here, but as a distortion pedal alone, it's cool. And I think it's a really good um, addition to your rig. 
Uh, if you ask me, I prefer it into the power amp because that's where I, li I, I like it. <laughs> well, that's just me. But it does a good job in front of the clean amp as well. So, more videos are coming for sure. So be sure to subscribe <laughs> so that you don't uh, forget viewing a video. And um, after this advertisement, what do you think about the heavy hatchet? Let me know down in the comment section. Did it remind you of some other pedal? I'm curious to find out. And well, if you want to support this channel, you might want to consider becoming a YouTube member and slash, or you want to check out the links in the description. I have some affiliate links. Well, yeah, with that being said, thank you for watching. May the power protect you and have a nice day.